Story editing is not just for screenwriters. In fact, it should be one of the most important tools you have in your editing tool belt. I've been a pro editor for over 20 years, and today I'd like to invite you into my edit suite so I can show you step by step how I use story editing on a short film that I recently completed. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna set the record straight on a common misconception about story editing. When I started out as an editor, I thought story structure was all theoretical and wasn't something useful that I could apply to my editing projects. If that's where you're at, today I'd like to convince you otherwise. I like to think of story editing as a recipe. Imagine you're baking a loaf of bread. If you have all the right ingredients in the right amounts and you follow the right timing, you'll end up with a delicious loaf of bread, or in our case, a compelling story. Skip an ingredient or mistime a step and your bread will be inedible, or in our case, your story will fall flat. I'll be breaking down this short film according to three-act story structure made famous in Sid Field's classic book, Screenplay, The Foundations of Screenwriting. In his book, he says that the first act of a film should take up about 25%, the second act about 50%, and the third act the final 25%. This film is three minutes and six seconds long, and as I outline the ingredients of a good three-act story structure, I'll check in and let you know how our timing lines up. I'll be starting and stopping the film and providing commentary, so I recommend you click the link below and watch the full three minute film to get the most out of this lesson. Let's get to it. We open on an aerial view of a city, and then we reveal a young boy playing on his iPad. And I'm going to stop us here. Ingredient one of three act story structure is to show the normal world. Another screenwriting term is ordinary world. And that's what we have here. Let's continue. Time break. Five minutes. <sighs> Sorry. I'm going to pause here because we just saw the second story ingredient, which is known as the inciting incident. This sets our story in motion because it disrupts our protagonist's normal life. It's mine. <clears throat> And this is ingredient number three, known in screenwriting terms as plot point one, where the protagonist commits to the central conflict and he's at the point of no return. We see the hat literally transports him into a new world, and this is where act two begins. Let's check our timing here. I would say that act two begins on the wide shot of the cave, and that puts us at 26% of the way through the film, right on time. And this brings us to ingredient four, which is rising action. Once we're in act two, we should keep presenting obstacles and raise the stakes as the story moves on. Let's pause here to discuss ingredient five, known in screenwriting terms as the midpoint. What you want in a good midpoint is the stakes to be raised significantly, and in our case, we're meeting a clear antagonist. As the name suggests, the midpoint should show up right in the middle of your film. We're at 48% of the way through, which is right on time. The rising action we mentioned in ingredient four should actually continue throughout all of act two with the stakes continually being raised. Let's see what happens. 
And this brings us to ingredient six, which in screenwriting terms is known as the big gloom, which is the protagonist's lowest point. The idol is getting away and will be gone forever. <laughs> Until we get to ingredient seven, which we call plot point two. It takes the story into a whole new direction, and that is when our protagonist decides to muster up the courage change and chase after the idol. Plot point two takes us to the end of act two, and we're about 68% of the way through the film. Not quite at the full 75%, but we're in the ballpark. Let's keep going. Our protagonist is now chasing the bad guy through the jungle, which is the beginning of act three. And I'm gonna point out another ingredient, which I'm going to call act three rising action. We see the bad guy looks like he's getting away, but then our protagonist whips out Ebola and knocks him out. Okay, you can have it back now. No thanks. And I'm gonna pause to talk about what I'm calling ingredient nine and what is known in screenwriting terms as the climax. In this case, it's our little boy declining the use of the iPad. If you remember when we opened on our normal world, we had a little boy who liked to play video games on his iPad and the inciting incident was his mom taking it away. And now by the end of the film, his character arc has him in a place where he declines to play games even when it's offered to him. And finally, we have ingredient 10, which in screenwriting terms is known as the resolution. We're back to the normal world, but our protagonist is forever changed. He now has an imagination that allows him to have his idol. At the beginning of this video, I said I was gonna clear up a common misconception about story editing, and that is that it's only useful for narrative feature films, like the ones you see in theaters. That is simply not the case. You saw here how it worked wonders on a narrative short film. The simple truth is that audiences respond to conflict, rising tension, character arcs, climaxes, and resolution. I've used these techniques in corporate videos, talking head interviews, montages, trailers, and even 30 second commercials. Yes, it's true. Oftentimes you don't have all the ingredients, but you probably have some of them. And you can use these techniques to make sure the story beats fall in the right places, to make the most impactful story possible. I wanna give a huge shout out to producer Nate Strayer of Stray Vista Studios, which is linked below, and to my longtime collaborator, writer-director Scott Rice for the fun collaboration. If you got value out of this video, please subscribe, and you might wanna check out my free editing guide, which you can download at the link in the description. Now that you understand story structure, you should watch this video next. Happy editing.